Hey everybody, it's Tamron Hall. I'm in the Action Hub where a lot of action is taking place and we are with Prime Minister Battelle and I've got a great question for you. What is Luxembourg here to commit today, Prime Minister? It is uh, a pleasure for me to be part of the Global Citizen Festival for the third year in a row. Global health is a major priority for my country and as is something I'm personally committed uh, to. Uh, universal health coverage has to become a reality. Without it, we cannot end extreme poverty. When I spoke to global citizens last year at the festival, we were closer than ever to eradicating polio for good, making it the second disease to ever be completely eradicated in history. Although remarkable progress has been made, the job is not yet finished. We are gradually reducing the number of cases each year, but every new case of polio is one too many, and we need to get to zero. Today, we pledge to give at least 500,000 euros at the Global Polio Eradication Initiative each year, so a total of 2 million euros between 16 and 19. Luxembourg will stay on board until the very last case of polio has been eradicated, and I hope others will follow our lead with small multiple-year pledges. So why are you focusing on polio? Supporting polio eradication means promoting global health. Uh, this is why thousands of uh, global citizens have signed the End Polio Now petition, urging world's leader to take action. Polio eradication could still be our first major milestone in the agenda 2030 and would be one of the greatest uh, achievements for humanity. As you already know, polio is a disease that has disabled tens of millions of children and forced people deeper into poverty. By eradicating polio children across the entire world will benefit. We must seize this opportunity to give every child a chance to have a happy and healthy life. And what is your message for other countries? To do the same progress towards polio eradication is at risk. And sadly, Nigeria, which was declared polio free last year, has reported two new cases last uh, August. It is set back, but at the same time, it teaches us a valuable lesson. If we want to see the end of polio, we need to ensure every single person in the world has access to basic health services. Every single child needs to be fully immunized. But we know that this final step is often the hardest. Conflict, insecurity, cultural beliefs about vaccines in many parts of the world, the operational obstacles we face, particularly in the still endemic countries like Afghanistan and Pakistan, are main manifold and require our joint efforts. So let me reiterate my call from last year for all of us to come together and act now. We have the power to make polio history. Join my country in supporting the Global Polio Eradication Initiative until the very end. Thank you.